facilities best practices. Lesson one, cattle behavior. Good cattle handling practices start with having an understanding of cattle behavior. Working cattle is more than just being able to get the job done. It's being able to get it done in a way that is safe for the cattle and the handlers while maintaining animal well-being at the same time. Cattle, like most livestock, will do what they're asked to do if asked correctly. It is when you try to force them that problems typically arise. There are several basic principles of cattle behavior that, when used properly, can improve the ease and speed of working cattle while reducing stress and increasing efficiency. The main principles include cattle want to see you, cattle want to go around you, cattle want to be with and go to other cattle, and cattle can only cross one main thought at a time. An understanding of how cattle see is basic to getting cattle to respond to your position when working livestock. Cattle can see everywhere except directly behind them. Movement toward the blind stop spot behind them then causes an animal to turn its head to keep you in its line of sight. Position yourself such that when they do go around you, they are pointed at the gate or destination you had in mind. They'll think it was their idea to go there. A herding instinct is natural among prey animals like cattle. They like to stay together in visual and or physical contact with each other. You can take advantage of this natural instinct by working from the front of a group of cattle. If you start at the front, the back will follow. This herding instinct is also a good reason why, in most cases, one animal should never be left alone in a pen or alley. If cattle are thinking about anything other than what you are asking them to do, you need to change their minds before you put pressure on them. Fear is typically their biggest distraction. Thus, any perception that you are a predator or to be feared for any re other reason must be avoided. The flight zone is an imaginary circle around an animal that it considers its personal space. When you enter an animal's flight zone, it will move away. If the animal does not see an escape route, it may attempt to turn and run past you. The size of the flight zone is determined by the animal's familiarity with humans, past interactions, and differs from animal to animal. An animal should be worked from the edge of its flight zone. Penetrating too deep and or quickly into the flight zone may cause fight or flight situation. Cattle's eyes are on the sides of their heads, therefore cattle can approximately see 310 degrees, leaving a blind spot directly behind them. It's extremely difficult to stay in an animal's blind spot because they will turn their heads to keep you in their line of sight. The point of balance is located at the animal's shoulder. If you enter an animal's flight zone and stand behind the point of balance, cattle will move forward. When cattle are in a chute or loading ramp, you should be positioned in front of an animal's shoulder and calmly move past the shoulder, at which time the cattle should move forward. An animal decides to do something, it's often not stressful. However, when an animal is forced to do something, it's very often is stressful. While stress cannot be completely removed from livestock, it's your job to teach an animal to accept and tolerate pressure and some stress for a short period. Creating and managing movement by taking advantage of the basic principles of cattle behavior is the key to low-stress cattle handling. Be patient. When in a hurry, a handler often tends to be excessive or incorrect pressure on a cattle and the end result might be unintended reaction from the cattle. Work from the front. Cattle can usually be controlled from the front if they are not afraid of humans. Working from the front helps keep cattle from wanting to turn and keep you in their line of sight. By moving in and out of the flight zone and using the point of balance, cattle can be drawn forward and past you to get them to go where you desire. Apply pressure when cattle have a place to go. Just as important is to release the pressure as soon as the desired result is achieved. A common mistake is trying to move the animal in front by prodding, stressing, or pushing animals from behind first. This relates back to working from the front and down the side of the animal and not working directly behind. Working from the front requires you to be able to get the cattle to pass without balking or spooking. Pressure cattle from behind only when absolutely necessary. To drive cattle in a straight line, assume a position behind their point of balance shoulder and off to either side. Move in triangles. It might sound odd, but it works. For example, if you work 
in an arch pattern behind the cattle, they would be drawn from side to side and consequently walking in a zigzag pattern as they follow your movement. Move into their flight zone to create or correct movement. Retreat from their flight zone or slow or stop movement. Going with cattle flow will slow or stop them. As you move in the same direction as the cattle are traveling and approaches a position parallel to the point of balance, they will slow down. Cattle work best when they are ready. You should spend time with cattle at times other than just when they have to do work. It's important to understand the potential effects that human interactions have on cattle and cattle behavior. Additional information is available at the Ohio State University Beef Team website. We have a, a fact sheet, Working Cattle Working Facilities. If you go to the internet at beef.osu.edu.